problem, we want to determine the force in members EI and JI, which are right here in the middle of the truss. So the best way to approach this one is using the method of sections. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out uh, the reaction. And I'm really just interested in the reaction over here at G because then I'm going to make a cut and just draw the right side. So to find the reaction at G, I'm just going to sum the moments about A to get rid of the forces uh, at the reactions at A and just get the following uh, equation. Okay, so the moment about A, I have 9 times the 4,000, 18 times the 8,000, and then 45 times the 5,000, all of those negative. And then I have 54 times my uh, reaction over at G, okay, which tells me that the reaction at G is 7,500 acting up. Okay, so now I'm going to make a cut passing through EI and JI as well as ED. So basically a cut going straight down. Uh, like so, okay. Oh, I guess they, uh, how did they actually cut this? They cut this coming down this way. Oops. Okay, so they made a cut cutting through EF, EI, and JI. Okay, so they made this cut uh, right here. Oh, and that makes sense because I needed EI. So they're going to make this cut right here. Okay, so I've got my 5,000 and my 7,500 that I just found for G and my external load 5,000. Okay. Then I have force EF, EI, and JI. Okay, and in this problem, they assumed uh, EF and EI were in compression, and JI was in tension. Okay. So uh, first things first, I want to find JI and EI. So to find JI, I can simply sum the moments about E to get rid of uh, the force EF as well as EI, and I'm just left with JI right there. So I'll sum the more forces about point E, and I get negative 9 times 5,000. I get positive 18 times 7,500, and then I get a negative 12 feet times JI. Okay, and that's the sum of the moments about E. Okay. EF and EI will not show up in that equation, so I'm left with the force of JI just equaling 7,500 pounds or 7.5 kips uh, in tension. Okay, so my assumption that was in tension uh, is correct. Now that I have that, okay, I can just uh, uh, sum the forces in the uh, Y direction to find F. EY, which is just going to be 7,500 minus 5,000 minus FEI, okay, which is just going to give me 2,500 for EI, and that's going to be in compression, okay, and that's how I have it drawn uh, in, in compression here. So uh, that positive answer actually corresponds to uh, a compressive force. So again, with this, you just find your reaction, make a cut through the members of interest, and then apply your equal equilibrium equations that you need in order to find the members that you're looking for.